Protecting your privacy at home. Recently, there have been two warnings from the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, dealing with privacy issues. In the first case, the FTC says Amazon violated child privacy laws by keeping children's voice and location data for years for its own voice recognition software. And in another case, Amazon also agreed to pay nearly $6 million for privacy violations with its Ring doorbell camera. The FTC says employees and contractors were able to access people's private videos easily because of lax security practices. Amazon, by the way, denied violating the law. Let's bring in Ben Fink. He's the chief technology officer and co-founder of Jacksonville-based On Defend Cybersecurity. Ben, good morning to you. Good to have you back. So these, at the very least, should serve as warnings for families about our data because it's really going everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, good morning, Vic. Thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, it really is. It's one of those things that's pretty scary to, to read about some of these stories um, where, where people were just looking through, you know, videos that came from ring cameras that people had put inside their home that they thought were they were using to secure themselves. I mean, there, there's two privacy issues here, really, right? The first of, of that situation that at Ring where Basically, anybody who worked there could browse through the catalog of all the videos from the cameras coming from inside people's residences. Uh, the other is the story regarding the Alexa, where we're talking about keeping data that these companies are using as part of, you know, building their AI and making their their products better. And so that there's a lot of different uh, different concerns there. That I think that people rightly have before they bring these devices into their houses. All right. So, is there a fix here, Ben? Is there something that we can do to protect our own privacy and maybe more importantly, our children's privacy? Yeah, yeah, that's that's a, that's a great question, Vic. So my first response is don't put cameras and listening devices in places where you wouldn't want them. Uh, that will definitely prevent this problem from happening in the first place. The second is all of these devices do have in the, in the apps that you use to interact with them, they do have privacy settings. So I would immediately go in there and make sure you have things turned on. Anything that talks about encryption is probably something you want to have turned on. Even if it's slight, a slight hassle for you, it's probably the best thing you want to do. Anything, especially it says something like end-to-end -end encryption is something you'd want to look for like on, on a ring camera system. Uh, the other thing is that we really need the FTC and other groups to be able to police when we say, Alexa only store my data for six months that they actually do it, right? I mean, that was a big part of what uh, what that first story was <clears throat> really was, was talking about. Uh, the other thing that we can do, and this was also something that Ring got a little trouble for, they made it pretty easy for people if you reused your password someplace else, people could guess. And it was really hard for you to tell that somebody else had logged into your Ring account. So you should go in any app that you have where you can turn on something called multi-factor authentication. You should absolutely do it. You should also not reuse passwords for websites. So your Netflix password shouldn't be the same password as your Ring password. That just means if if some something happens to that password and it gets disclosed someplace else, they can't log into any of your other stuff. That's it, right? So if you can turn those things on, that will solve a lot of your security problems. On the privacy side, like I mentioned, see if you can turn off a lot of the uh, other settings, turn on encryption, see if you can uh, tell them how long you would like for them to keep your data uh, available. There's a lot of sharing options, especially on the Ring camera settings. Yeah, and finally, real quickly, can they delete your data? Can you reach out to these big companies, these big tech giants and say, hey, look, I want my data deleted, or is that just a pipe dream? Oh, that, that's a great question. That would be lovely to have, right? I mean, they have that in the EU. There's something called the GDPR that basically says you as a citizen get to go to a tech company and say, I want you to delete everything about me. And there's some pretty strong enforcement for that. We don't have anything like that in the United States, any blanket protection. There's nothing in uh, Florida or Georgia law either that would allow you to do that today. All right. So really on the front end, you have to protect yourself and your family's right. data. Ben Fink with On Defend. Thank you so much. Great information as always. Appreciate you. Thanks, Zach.